What is going on ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing you four ways to increase your answer rate as a life insurance agent. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. These four ways are going to be proven ways that we've used and our clients have used to increase their answer rate um, when outbound dialing life insurance leads. So first and foremost, the number one way to increase your answer rate when uh, calling life insurance leads is something called spam protection, okay? So basically what happens whenever you go out and you start making a bunch of calls is you have these like individual relationships with all of the telephone carriers, right? So what they're doing is they're monitoring your phone number to see like how you act and how you behave as a telemarketer, right? So for example, if you have just one phone number and you start going out and making hundreds and hundreds of dials a day out of nowhere and you're, you're triple dialing people back to back to back to back and doing all these different things or you, know, you call somebody outside of the TCPA time, the carrier is taking notes of all these different things and they're deciding, hey, is this somebody that we want to be able to get through to our customers? And by the way, guys, when I say carriers, I know it can kind of be confusing because we're in the insurance industry. I'm not talking about insurance carriers. I'm talking about cell phone carriers like AT&T, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, and I think those are like the main ones now. So those three. So when you go out and you do all these things, they're basically taking inventory of what your reputation is. And based off of that, they're going to either allow your calls to get through or not. And basically what happens is like, if you get marked as spam, like I don't have to be the, like you guys don't have to be a genius to understand this. When you get a phone call and it pops up and says scam, spam likely, you're not answering the phone. So what happens is like your answer rate may be decent, right? Like let's say you're, you're like here and then all of a sudden you get marked as spam and you just go like down to here. And then it's just, you're just wasting time, right? So what spam protection is, and there's a few dialers that offer that, uh, I can kind of explain um, what dialers we recommend and then I can do a whole separate video that talks about the best dialers. But what spam protection does is they basically go, uh, whatever dialer you're with, they go and they monitor your reputation on each of your phone numbers with the carriers and if it gets flagged as spam, they will notify you so you can swap up that number or they'll go in and they'll submit documentation to get that reversed so that your answer rate stays high. So that's essentially what spam protection is. I recommend having spam protection on all of your numbers. So have it on all of your numbers. And basically the way that you wanna have this set up is like you don't wanna just be calling with one number. What I recommend is, you know, let's say you're in like 15 states. Let's say you're in like California, um, Texas, actually I'm just gonna use like five states for example. California, Texas, Kansas, North Carolina, and then Arizona. If you realize that the majority of your leads, let's say are coming in these two states, then I'm gonna buy more numbers in these two states because most of my calls are gonna be in those states, obviously. So like, let's say I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy like 10 numbers. I might buy um, like three in CA, three in Texas, and then like one in Kansas, one in NC, and then one in AZ, and then I could go, you know, let's say, let's say I'm getting more leads in Texas and California, then I would just go four here. So I have the bulk of my phone numbers in the states that I'm calling. And then I would go and spam protect all of these numbers. Like make sure they're all spam protected. If you're using a dialer like Kixi, Kixi automatically spam protects all the numbers and they rotate the numbers for you, but Kixi can be a little bit more expensive in other ways. Um, but if you're using a dialer like a uh, wave dialer, if you guys don't know about these, just comment down below. I can make a whole video breaking them down. Uh, but if you're using a dialer like wave, for example, um, wave, you have to buy each individual number. Uh, and so you'd want to spam protect all those numbers, right? So spam protection, number one way to increase your answer rate. Because again, if you're getting marked as spam, like you're just totally screwed, okay? The second way is something called speed to lead, right? So there was a, uh, there was a study done, I believe it was by uh, MIT, 
And what they found is that if you contact your leads within five minutes of them filling out the form or requesting information, the odds of you closing go up by 900%, right? Let me say that again. If you call someone within five minutes of them requesting info, your chances of closing go up by 900%. So nine times more likely, right? So if you're not contacting people, call them as soon as leads come in, right? Call people as soon as the leads come in. Like for best results, you wanna call them as soon as they come in. Within five minutes, ideally, right? And what happens is like, within the first couple of days, that's when you wanna hit people the most, and then you can kind of like decrease the frequency at which you're, you're contacting them as time goes on, right? So the third way to increase answer rate is speed to lead. Now, the, or that's the second way. The third way is something called local number wrapping. And I just have my notes written here. Uh, local number wrapping, okay? So what local number wrapping is, is basically it'll mask your area code um, to match the area code of the person you're calling in, right? So for example, um, if I'm in Texas and I call someone in California with a California area code, my area code is going to match their California area code. Now, this used to be something that not a lot of people are doing. Now, much more people are doing it, so it has kind of reduced the, the like, efficacy and the uh, effectiveness of this. However, it still works better than not having it. And so that's essentially what local number wrapping is, is you're matching your outbound phone number with the phone number of the person you're calling so they it makes them seem like it makes it seem like you're somebody that they would know and they're more likely to answer right that's the whole premise behind it so local number wrapping that is something that increases area um, not increases area code increases answer rate excuse me and there's a couple ways you can do this if you're using a dialer like Kixi uh, this should be automatic that's kind of like their whole premise um, is that it will automatically match the area code. If you're using a dialer like Wave, which is honestly my recommendation because the way Wave does it is actually more compliant than the way Kixi does it. But with Wave, you buy individual phone numbers and then you just turn on local number wrapping and it'll match the number with the area code. So like if I'm, let me re-explain this. If I have 10 numbers, and I call somebody in North Carolina, it's gonna call them with my North Carolina number. If I have these 10 numbers and the person's in California, it's gonna call them with my California number. So with Wave, you have to buy all of the numbers that will be uh, locally number wrapped. With Kixi, they just automatically do it with all of their numbers. So Wave must buy numbers. Cool. So third one, again, is local number wrapping. Now the fourth, fourth one is something you probably haven't heard about or probably are not doing, and that's actually texting your leads, okay? So what I've found is basically when a lead comes in, you wanna contact them in as many places as possible. So this is SMS, uh, Facebook Messenger, which is a, a new thing that we're, we're doing a lot of, Facebook Messenger, and email and phone, right? So what I've found is if you can get somebody to respond to either an SMS, a Facebook Messenger, or an email, they are more likely to answer the phone. They're more likely to answer if respond to other three, okay? So what we basically do is we have automations that go out whenever someone comes in. So we're gonna send them a text we're gonna send them on a message on Facebook Messenger, and we're gonna send them an email. Now, if they start replying back and forth with a text or replying back and forth on Facebook Messenger or the email, I'm gonna jump in as the agent, start texting them, and then call them. And that makes the answer rate go way up. So instead of you just like dialing for hours and just calling through like tons and tons of leads, if you're messaging back and forth with them, and you see, hey, this person's engaging, let me go hit them up, this is a, a hot lead, then you call that person and your odds of getting them on the phone are much, much higher. So ladies and gents, that's gonna wrap up the video here. Those are the four ways to increase your answer rate when dialing leads. If you guys got value from this video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. 
And if you want to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, we'll do all of your marketing for you, help you set up all of the automations uh, and everything so that all you have to focus on is closing, then click the link down below to apply to work with us. Without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.